Hello friends, I know it's been a while and I used to say hey guys, I don't know what happened to that. I just wanted to welcome you back to my channel. It's been six months since I talked face to face here, so you know, it's about time. Yeah, 2017 was a long time ago, but it's okay, you know, like we're just gonna keep making comebacks and eventually everything's just gonna be fine. I'm really excited to introduce this new series on my channel and I'm gonna be calling it In the Field. So you'll find like random montages and little peaks inside of my chaotic brain that really illustrate the process of a photo shoot from start to finish. My friend does these really neat lighting designs for a local theater company, so my job was to show up and take pictures of the lights every single time they changed. My job covered both wide shots and tighter shots to really show how the light interacted with the actors. This shoot is not as detail-oriented as a portrait shoot, but it's still pretty intensive, and this kind of just illustrates the whole typical process I go through when I have a photo shoot. I hope you enjoy this video, and it would really mean a lot to me if you continue to stick around for the next four videos. Usually for the first act, I don't really have to do anything because the sun is still out and so you can't really see the lighting. In the second act, it's like go time, you know, you're just taking pictures of everything. Some shows are faster than others and that kind of just depends on how she wanted it or the pace of the show. But anyways, today I just wanted to explain the process of choosing the cameras, lenses, and settings and whatever I'm doing. Um, definitely not going to be taking a lot of video during the actual shoot because yeah, well, I just shouldn't be doing that, but I just spoke to her and got together like a shot list and stuff like that. Okay, so since I need to do wide shots and zoom shots and I'm gonna need to switch back and forth or like that's what I think according to what she told me, I'm deciding to bring two cameras. So for the wide shot, I'm gonna be using the 5D Mark II with the 24 to 105 F for lens. I'm looking into getting another 60 because I just really, really love it. Maybe a 5D Mark III, I don't know. Um, the downside of the 5D Mark II, in my opinion, is that it's really heavy. So if I'm needing to carry two cameras, it's just kind of tiring, but this is what we have, you know, like I'm really grateful that I get to borrow my mom's camera. This is really great. So that's what I'm going to be using for the wide shots. Um, there's not going to be as many as most shows. So I find that this is going to be pretty okay because I'm going to need to do more work with the zoom lens and I need a more reliable piece of equipment for that. So for the zoom portion, I guess, of this gear checklist, I'm going to be using the Canon 60. Um, it's not the Mark II or anything like that, it's just the regular one. I have used this for around a year and a half. It's really reliable. I really love it. I like how it's a full frame, but it's not as big as the 5D, as you can tell. It's kind of smaller. It's not as heavy. Oh, that's another reason why I'm using this is this lens is smaller, therefore it's lighter, and this, er, and this camera is heavier, and so that pairing makes more sense. So with this, I'm using this gigantic 70 to 200. Um, it's f2.8 fixed aperture, so that's really great for this kind of situation. Um, unfortunately, this is what I have to use. It's really big, it's heavy. I don't know if there's focusing issues. I haven't looked that much into it, but I do find that every time I use it with this body, I just have more success with it. Um, maybe it needs to be calibrated, I'm not sure. Um, I would have to look into that. But normally when I do this, I take pictures at church and stuff like that, it works perfectly fine. So this setup is pretty reliable and that's what I'm going to continue to do for the situation. So in terms of gear, these are two things I'm using. 5D Mark II with the 24 to 105 F four and then the Canon 6D with the 70 to 200 fixed aperture of 2.6. Okay, so this is gonna be my outfit. Normally for work, I tend to wear all black. I think it kind of stems from my background in working in the back of a theater. I did makeup and I helped kind of with uh, costumes and like hair and stuff like that. And so we were told to wear all black. So since I am like working, I guess for the show, I just tend to wear all black and I just do that for most of the gigs anyway. This is what I'm wearing. Um, black socks, black pants, black shirt black jacket and I have black shoes to go along with it. Another thing for these kinds of shoots is that I don't normally wear makeup because if I'm gonna have stuff on my eyes and then I have to put my eye on the eyepiece all the time it just doesn't really work out so at least 
I just try to be professional by curling my eyelashes. Again, I don't know why anyone, I don't even know if anyone cares about this. I try to curl my eyelashes so at least they look like a little bit alive or something like that because most of the time I just don't really care. But oh my gosh. <sighs> but yes, it is almost time for me to go. Uh, I'm just gonna pack the car, get in the car, drive 30 minutes. Why it's like only 20 miles away. It's okay, it's okay, we got this. Um, I think that this shoe is a little bit more demanding because there are a lot of elements that my friend wants um, and I really, really want to get all of them for her. Sometimes I get nervous because if I don't get them, then it's like you have no other chance to get it. So I think that's why I'm like a little bit nervous, but I just know that it's going to be fine in the end. So hopefully everything will turn out fine. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you're still interested in hearing about the thought process and the things that go on after a photo shoot and also just my thought process about life and stuff like that, be sure to stick around for the next four videos in this series. Bye.